Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Got a real short and fun video for you. We're going to do the G major scale. And we're in G tuning. And we're going to do the G major scale in the first position up here. Now, you all know, or you should know, that all these different notes all up and down the neck. We've got a bunch of them, right? Those are all repeating all up and down the neck, right? You've got G's all over the place, you know. Um, you know, three G's right there. Okay, so all over this neck can be found, any note you want. Okay, and we need to start sort of understanding that. So why do we want to practice scales? A lot of people don't want to practice them. And I admit, I haven't practiced scales a lot in my past. Um, but I should have. And I'm going to rectify that and start putting them into my practice sessions. Because, you know, I sit here and talk to you about economy of motion. And scales are great for that. Because you really, you spread your hand out. Now you can do this using just one or two fingers and just bounce back and forth. But the purpose of the exercise is to get all these fingers in play. And get get this stretch going and get started using that if you can. Now if you're physically limited of course you're going to do this however you can do it but if you've got the use of all these bad boys let's use them. Let's use this poor little baby neglected pinky. Alright so our G note we're going to start with is on the fourth string of the fifth fret. Okay. Then with our index finger, we're going to jump to our A note at our third string second fret. Then our B note using our ring finger at the fourth fret of the third string. And then our pinky again at the fifth fret for that C note, uh, the fifth fret of the third string. Now our D, we're going to use our middle finger on the second fret, uh, or the second string, third fret, then we're going to use our pinky again for the E at the fifth fret of the second string. Then we're going to use our, either our ring or our, either our middle or our ring for our F sharp at the fourth fret of the first string, and then the pinky again for that little G down there at the fifth fret of the first string. And then we're going to go backwards. Now, we want all of our scales to be crisp, clear, and concise, right? So you're going to do this slowly, you know, the first couple of minutes of your practice session. So you're going to just get that good stretch going, too. Another thing that this does is, especially when you start going faster and you're going back and forth, is you're really working on your right hand accuracy. kinds of things here um, and it's just an exercise so that's gonna be it for this one I'm not gonna make this I'm not gonna get too far into this because I just want you to get started familiarizing yourself with the scales and have fun with it okay we all have to warm up and uh, these are a great way to do it and you'll really get that stretch going if you do it like I suggested here I uh, hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. And I just want you to always remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.